Israeli forces shoot, kill four-year-old Palestinian girl in the backseat of a car. Israeli forces shot and killed a four-year-old Palestinian girl sitting in the backseat of a car in the central-occupied West Bank last night. Rukhaya Ahmed Oder Jahalan, four, was shot in the back by Israeli forces around 5.30 p.m. on January 7 while sitting in the backseat of a shared taxi van near an Israeli military checkpoint near the Palestinian village of Biat Iksar, northwest of Jerusalem in the central-occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Defense for Children International, Palestine. After Rukhaya and her mother drove through the checkpoint, a car driving about 40 meters, 131 feet, behind them did not stop for inspection by Israeli forces. Israeli forces opened fire on both vehicles, striking Rukhaya in the back. An Israeli military ambulance transported Rukhaya and her mother to the checkpoint, where Rukhaya's father met them. Israeli forces interrogated Rukhaya's father before allowing him to leave without releasing Rukhaya's body. Israeli forces have installed Israeli military infrastructure, like checkpoints, all throughout the occupied West Bank. Palestinian children are at risk every time they are forced to interact with Israeli soldiers, said Aid Abu Ektaish, accountability program director at SIP. Israeli forces opened fire with no regard for Rukhaya's life. This is just one example of the impunity enjoyed by Israeli forces emboldened in an environment where the international community refuses to hold them accountable. A Palestinian man and woman in the second car were both killed by Israeli forces. Rukhaya is the third Palestinian child killed by Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank in 2024, according to documentation collected by Tzip. An Israeli drone strike killed 17-year-old Wadi Yazer Hassan Asus in Jenin on January 7 and 17-year-old Yused Taik Anis Ramori was shot and killed by Israeli forces on January 5 in Biat Rima. 84 Palestinian children have been killed in the occupied West Bank since October 7, according to documentation collected by Tzip, when the Israeli military began a full-scale military offensive on the Gaza Strip dubbed Operation Iron Swords. In 2023, Israeli forces and settlers killed at least 121 Palestinian children in the occupied West Bank, according to documentation collected by Tzip. Israeli forces and settlers shot and killed 102 Palestinian children with live ammunition, 14 Palestinian children were killed in drone strikes, 4 Palestinian children were killed by missiles fired from AU.S, sourced a Parsh attack helicopter, and one child was killed in an Israeli warplane airstrike. Under international law, Intentional lethal force is only justified in circumstances where a direct threat to life or of serious injury is present. However, investigations and evidence collected by TSIP regularly suggest that Israeli forces use lethal force against Palestinian children in circumstances that may amount to extrajudicial or willful killing.